Hey guys, today I'm doing another one of my eyeshadow palette series. Today I got the number... What number is it? 15. Is that right? Yes, and number 15 is the Huda Beauty Sapphire Obsessions, which looks like this. I'm really excited. So we're going to jump into that, um, but there's just a few things I want to talk about first. Um, so I'm just going to prime my lids with the P. Louise base in Rima 01 just while I talk about these things. Um, so pretty much work is looking really uncertain at the moment. Um, so it doesn't look like I'm going to be back at work anytime soon. Um, and if I am, it'll be like one shift a week. So I'm thinking maybe now I'm not going to lock this in because I don't know my plans. But I think I might upload two videos a day in April as well. But I'll see how I go because I'm thinking that if I... If things don't settle down, I'm going to go to Sam's house and self-isolate there for two weeks, um, you know, so that um, I can see him for a while. But I don't know how that'll go and I don't know if I'll still do that. But anyway, everything's just kind of a bit up in the air at the moment because I don't know what the world's going to look like in a week, you know. I don't know what the world's going to look like tomorrow or if we're going to go into like full lockdown or what the go is. But anyway... Um, so for the moment, I'm planning on uploading two videos a day in April, but I'm just not sure. But in saying that, I need more video ideas because obviously I can't really do too many reviews and stuff because all the makeup companies are closing and yeah, um, I obviously am not working so I've only, I've got like a really limited amount of money which means that I can't also buy new makeup so I can't really do as many reviews, um, I can't, you know, so I don't want my videos to get boring or anything, so please comment below and let me know what videos you want to see. I'm thinking of starting like a series, I was think I asked on my Instagram story and I'm thinking maybe like um, a Disney princess one or something like that, I feel like that would be a cute idea, but um, yeah, I'm not sure yet, so you'll have to let me know what you guys want to see, um, but yeah. I'm not 100% sure. I'll keep you guys updated as to whether or not I decide to stick to the two uploads in April or just do one. But all I know for right now is that if I am going to do two uploads in April, it'll be like the last month, I reckon. Because after that, I think I'm going to be... I don't want to do like all the videos and then have things be boring and stuff. So yeah, I think I'm going to... I'm obviously going to finish off March. And then we'll see what the future's like for April. So I'm not really 100% sure yet. But yeah, anyway, we're going into the Sapphire Palette by Huda Beauty. You'd think now that I'm in self-isolation, I'd be able to take time to wash my brushes. But no. <laughs> so the very first shade I'm going to take is like this blue here. It's such a beautiful shade. Um, and I'm just going to put that through my crease. Wow, so stunning. Oh, what am I doing? Sorry, I forgot to do me in. Lol. So I'm only gonna bring it to about there. Cause I'm gonna add another shade. This is such a nice blue, I love this color. I don't even know if you can still get these palettes. Let me check on Sephora. Let me see. Because I think they were limited edition, but I don't know. I'm not like 100% sure. Let me have a look. No, they're still all there. So you can still get them. Quite a few of the shades are um, out of stock at the moment on the Sephora Australia website. I wonder if actual Huda Beauty still has them. Yeah, so you can still buy them off her, um, off her website, so it's looking good. Um, they mustn't be limited edition because I remember I bought them all because I was like, oh my god, they're going to like sell out. And I was like obsessed, but no, they didn't, so. But still, um, I actually quite like this palette, so I'm glad I got them. I'm just blending the edge now. 
Okay, then next I'm going to go in with this yellow shade. I'm going to take that to blend it out. Blue and yellow together are just something else, you know? They're just like such a great combo. I'm just going to bring the blue a little bit higher on this side. And then we're just going to blend. So beautiful. Next I'm going to take just a bit of a smaller brush. Um, and I'm going to take this blue here. I'm going to put that like in the outer corner. going to blend okay and then I'm gonna go off camera and cut my crease and then I will be back I'm gonna try something a bit different today with my cut crease so I'm going to do what I did with the blue and the yellow but like sideways if that makes sense I'll put the blue here and the yellow and then we'll choose a shimmer shade so yeah I'm just gonna start with that first blue shade that we used I don't know how this is gonna look but I just wanted to try something a bit different Okay, and then we'll go into the yellow. I might take a bit more blue. And then I'm quickly... I'm just going to take a small brush to blend the dark blue into the light blue. So I'll bring the yellow down a fair bit and just leave it a little bit for some shimmer. And then I can put some more of the blue and blend. Okay, then I'm just going to take this fluffy blender brush. I'll just clean it off and then I'll just blend. Okay. For shimmer, I'm just going to take this really pretty like aqua blue kind of colour. Okay, and then I'll take the yellow once again and just blend that into it. I want to put something through the cut crease, but I don't know if I should take like a glitter or if I should take like a white or... I might take like a silver shade. Yeah, I'm gonna take Pyro by Urban Decay and just use this on the um, cut crease. Okay, I feel like that looks really nice. Um, I can't tell if I should use. This is hard. Okay, but anyway, I'm just going to clean the edge up with a cotton pad. But yeah, I don't know if I want to do the liner or not. I feel like some black liner would look really nice. Maybe I should do the light first. I'm going to take my Focalia liquid liner. Okay, now I can clean, clean up the eyes. Okay, I'm gonna go off camera, do the rest of my face, and then I'll be back to show you the finished look. But I'm really liking this, I think it looks really nice. So, yeah, I'll be back. Okay, so I'm finished now. I just used the Doll Beauty Lashes in Jasmine, and I'm obsessed with this eye look. It is so beautiful. I think this is probably like my favorite look I've ever done. Um, this is it close up. I love it. Yeah, so this was number, I think we're up to like number eight now. Um, of the eyeshadow palette series and yeah this was the look I created using the Huda Beauty Sapphire Obsession so I hope you guys enjoyed this video thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next one make sure you comment what videos you want to see below so I know but yeah thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in my next one bye